Hi folks, we've recently released the first version of our device SDK and I just wanted to share with you how to get started with it. If you'd rather read about how to get started, you can go to our docs website and there's a corresponding uh, docs page that gives you all the instructions that you can follow. One thing you'll need is a supported development board. Today I'll be using an NRF52 840DK. So as you can imagine, the SDK is available on GitHub. Uh, you can find it in a link below. And the SDK is based on the NRF Connect SDK uh, or Zephyr. Uh, so if you're familiar uh, with uh, those frameworks, you should be able to get started quickly. If not, I suggest you go look at the NRF Connect SDK documentation first and get yourself familiar with the tooling and what you need to set up on your computer to start using it. So there's a West manifest in the repository. If you use your own manifest, make sure to look at those two patches which are listed in the repository, which might be required for your Zephyr uh, version at this time. Uh, but to keep th things simple, I'll just create my workspace uh, based on the, this GitHub repository. So you can see uh, my workspace is now initialized and what I need to do is make sure to update my workspace so that all the dependencies are fetched uh, by West. Okay, so that's done. Uh, now I'll open VS Code from the directory. Uh, example role try and run is in that folder. Uh, if you want to have a look at it, it's a good starting point if you're writing your own code. Uh, and what this example does is just send a request over the Blicken network and prints the, the response when it, it gets one. So the easiest way of compiling and running this is using the NRF connect plugin for VS code. Uh, so let's use that. Let's do open an ex existing application. So I want to go to Blicken device SDK examples Zephyr. So you can see the my application has been created here. And what I want to do is make sure I build for the right board. So as you can see, it's already pre-selected here. If you want to build for another supported board, you can change it here. Otherwise, all the defaults uh, make sense. So let's just set up the build and you can see the, um, the plugin has already started the, the actual build itself. So let's wait for it to complete. Once it's done, we'll be able to flash it on the board. Okay, so now I'll flash it and what I'll do in the meantime is go to connected devices here and I'll basically connect to the serial port so that I can see what's going on once it's, uh, it's flashed. So you can see it's, uh, it's booted up and the first thing that happens under the hood uh, when that, that beacon example starts is that an identity is generated for the device and you can see here there's a UID which is the unique uh, identifier for the device which you can copy and if you go back to your web browser and go to the Blicken console you can create a network and the easiest way of adding this device to your network is just copying the UID here the okay, second thing I'll do uh, is that I'll make sure that my network has a handler. Uh, so to keep things simple, I will just use a default handler we provide, uh, which uh, basically uh, sends back anything which is uh, which it receives. So it's uh, the echo integration. So I've now gone back to VS Code and you can see that 
the device manage sender request and get its response back from the echo server. That's it for this getting started tutorial. If you want to explore more, you can have a look at the example itself and the repository. And we also have uh, an API reference on our doc website.